Aloha everybody and welcome to Beach Walks with Rocks. Today is show number 248 and you can find us at beachwalks.tv. Listening to the Gilmore Gang last night, that's a, a podcast of guys basically who, it's kind of a guys gossip show. They get on the phone, Skype with each other, and they're well-known figures in the tech industry, and they talk about whatever's on their mind, no agenda. Unscripted. That part of it I like. Most of the time though that I've listened to it, and I don't listen to it very often, is uh, it gets very, very cranky. <laughs> because they start arguing and I guess I guess guys like hearing that arguing because it's a popular show but uh, one thing they talked about yesterday was Jason Calacanis is starting a podcast video cast with Podtech and he's going to ask his guests and he's got sponsors lined up so that he's going to be able to donate you know a couple thousand dollars per show to a private school in New York so that foster kids from Brooklyn will be able to attend this private school. And it's a really nice idea, I think, and people were getting very upset with him because he's making an end run around the public school system and he's not doing anything to try and change the system. And it brings up this whole topic for me of the concept of guilty giving. Um, that's what I'm calling it anyway. People have all of these confused feelings around giving. Can you just give something without other people trying to make you feel guilty about it? And can you just give something to someone without feeling the burden to have to change the entire world at the same time? And it's a conflict, I think, that people who care about other people encounter and they get at times frozen because people think, well, if my gift isn't really going to make some big dramatic change, is it worth giving? I say resoundingly yes, it is worth giving and in fact I think it's more meaningful for us to try and give on a person to person basis than to try and force some huge massive third party aka the system to change. It's just too, it's too difficult. Change happens I think one moment at a time, one breath at a time, one gift at a time. You know, in a related issue, my sister, Judy, thank you, Judy, gave us a very generous gift of sand dollars the other day. And I wrote her a note saying, I hope this isn't guilty giving. Meaning, let's go this way, Lexi, we're at a beach. Uh, where's your ball? It's out there, it's out there. Meaning I was hoping she gave it because she enjoys beach walks and not because she felt guilty not, you know, being in touch with me that much or whatever. But in any case, I was appreciative of the gift and I accepted it. And I guess the takeaway from today's show is giving is about giving. It's something that we do, I hope, with pleasure and it's received with pleasure. Instead of trying to layer all of the psychoanalysis on top of it and trying to over-science what it means or what it should mean or what you should have done instead. So, that's the story for today. I have a couple of little news items. One, we are on Akimbo. So any of you that have the Akimbo player, which allows you to download content from the internet and play it on your television, you can now subscribe to Beach Walks there. We're very happy to be there. And I'll provide a link in the show notes. And I also wanted to let you know that October 30th is Lexi's birthday. So for tomorrow's show, we plan on having a little Lexi birthday party. If you want to submit any conch calls or share some sand dollars for Lexi treats or send in any pictures of your dogs who watch the Lexi show, please do so, but do so right away so we can get them into tomorrow's show. Anyway, Skype us at Roxanne Darling or you can call 949-544-8. 1456 and ahoy ho!